Assistant Speaker Catherine Clark and Vice Chair Pete Aguilar. Questions? Well, there are conversations that are underway right now within the Senate and within the four corners, House Republicans, House Democrats, Senate Republicans, Senate Democrats. We'll see what comes out of the Senate. Go back to this side. Good morning. If the Senate manages to pass the same-sex marriage bill, they're looking to amend <coughs> it to add in religious liberty protections. Is that something that do you think House Democrats will support if they bring back? Would you want it to come back for a vote here? We'll have to see what bill comes out of the Senate, what language comes out of the Senate. But as Assistant Speaker Catherine Clark uh, indicated, the, the broader challenge is that we have extreme MAGA Republicans who are like peering into the bedrooms of the American people. And that is inconsistent with the freedom that is central to the United States. We're defending freedom, families, the flag. They are trying to undermine freedom, families, and the flag. Whatever comes out of the Senate, if it's bipartisan, of course, we'll take a very close look at, uh, but we're going to continue to advance freedom for the American people. Catherine? Second row. Um, so you mirrored some of the president's rhetoric on the mega Republican extremism. Um, you asked you know, many of your colleagues to name who, who among you guys are the threat, um, but many of them don't want to name them. So why is that the case? And can you, you know, tell me exactly who you see as a threat to democracy if, if you're throwing out that accusation and mirroring that? Extreme MAGA Republicans, it speaks for itself. I'll, I'll yield to Pete in terms of some of what we've seen, but it's extreme. If your top agenda is a nationwide ban on abortion, we're not making it up. Lindsey Graham just introduced the bill. And that bill would leave in place extreme bans that states have enacted all across the country and then undermine the freedom of women to make their own reproductive health care decisions in other states like California, New York, or the Commonwealth of Massachusetts and beyond. It would undermine it in Kansas, which just rejected the worldview of extreme MAGA Republicans. And Lindsey Graham and House Republicans could care less because that's their vision. Criminalize abortion care, impose a nationwide ban. That's extreme. It's actually extreme to want to end Social Security and Medicare. We're not making that up. Rick Scott told us when they take the majority in their view, that's the first thing they're going to try to do. We're not making this up. They've told us this is what they are going to do. And of course, we know they are extreme on our democracy. You know, I think the I think the chairman is absolutely right. You know, and the, the answer to your question is a lot of these members support these radical extreme policies that are out of step with where the American public is uh, on women's reproductive health on women's access to abortion, uh, on gun safety. Uh, these extreme Republicans not just vote against it, they speak against it, they create obstacles you know, in committee. Uh, these are pieces of legislation that have the support of an overwhelming percentage of Americans, let alone the individuals who supported um, uh, the, the ideas that the insurrection has had about disrupting, uh, about delaying uh, the January 6th proceedings. So individuals that carry those positions, and keep in mind, the American public is, is focused on this, uh, protecting democracy, uh, standing up for women's rights to make their own health decisions. Those are things that are out of step with the American public, and our colleagues need to be held accountable for their, for their positions. 
Yeah. I, I think they name themselves with every single vote they take in the House of Representatives. If we just look at this summer, voting against common sense gun safety that can improve lives and make for safer communities. Then they went on and voted against protecting a woman's right to choose. These are extremely personal decisions that women make and should only make in the context of their lives, their faith, their medical needs, not with what the congressman from their district thinks they should do. But look at that vote. Look at their vote on protecting birth control. Look at their vote where the majority of Republicans rejected marriage equality. Reaching in and saying, your marriage, we don't consider that valid. We're not going to vote to protect it. The message is clear to the American people, and they've gone on. We just had the president into Boston to celebrate an investment at Logan Airport, part of the infrastructure bill. And there were 13 votes on the House Republicans to support your bill. 13 to support good paying jobs, to address climate change, to create broadband access for everyone, to get lead pipes out of our water. What are we talking about when the priority is criminalizing women seeking health care and their doctors who may provide it? When we have patients being told in Texas, when you miscarry and you need abortion care to remain safe, that you have to go home and wait till you spike a fever and infection sets in, because doctors are afraid of what might happen to them if they give you the treatment they need. These are extremely dangerous times, and MAGA Republicans are seeding chaos, fear, and they know it, and they are pursuing this agenda. They are telling us exactly what they're going to do, and they're following through on it. From privatizing and uh, putting up Social Security and Medicare for reauthorization to denying fundamental freedoms about how we make healthcare decisions. And we look at a chance to vote to help people pay those bills around reducing the cost of prescription drugs, helping constituents like mine address those out-of-pocket costs. Zero support. This is what the American people are seeing and responding to. They are seeing their freedoms being eroded by MAGA Republicans and their votes here in the House and their promises on the campaign trail. And that is why we are feeling that we are making a connection with the American people. And they are seeing that this is about their voice in this House. This is about their voice in Congress because our democracy is on the line and families know around the country, they are of no interest to the Republican party. I mean, this is just not rhetoric, it's reality. We could spend all day documenting how extreme they are, but a Latin phrase comes to mind, race ipsa loquitur, it speaks for itself. We're going to continue to lean into creating safer communities. Uh, we have done that in a variety of different ways, including uh, making sure we address the gun uh, violence epidemic that we have in America with a strong first step in that direction. There are ongoing conversations in terms of how do we continue to strengthen the relationship between the police and the, and the community. Uh, and I expect that um, those conversations will bear 